Departure, flying home, one. I want to go home. I'm on the bridge from San Francisco, but I want to be on the Merritt Parkway. Where is my exit? Where are my green hills? But there's no such thing as going home if your home is a past performance, a faded memory, an unvisited grave. I don't know how to live life without being a poet. I glide to earth, where faith is easier, if only for the moment. I am too mortal for divine loneliness. I'm glad I had all these thoughts when I was still younger. Have the thoughts changed? No. Just don't think them anymore. <laughs> when I put them down, I'm relieved. The sea, we say, is the unconscious mind where the soul looks for space. I'm losing them, the sight. The sea was small but giving. It's a thing that's over your eye and it deteriorates. It's something that comes with age. What's that poem about? The sea. <laughs> what else? Would I exist if no one believed in me? I wish somebody else was reading. But it's your voice. It's too old now. And I remember they say that hair grows in the grave when all else we have cherished is turned to reflection, when what we have been is in the gestures of others. Like the tree that in May has its moment stunning the senses and winter returns to sleep. Does it know what it had? What will be when the woodcutter comes? Does it know how I stopped the car? I was seven years old and I brought my poem to school and showed it to my teacher. Still, the Dibbuk sings for my throat. I am 92 years old, September 25th. It would have to be two paragraphs about so rain dropping years on and this barren soil. <laughs> I already started worrying about the flowers. The Dibbuk is from an old Yiddish tale. A girl who dies and her lover invades her body and speaks through her mouth. Anyway, you don't have to be dead to do that. <laughs> The trees are wrecked stars, but I mustn't sleep, not yet. I am the bearer of stones to the picnic. You have to have something that's inside you that you take with you. And for me, it was being a poet, seeing the world for its inner beauty, even if it was ugly. I didn't know I was going to say that. <laughs>